Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and tonight I am taking a first look at the Mophie Juice Pack Helium for the iPhone 5. So, let's skip ahead to the good part. Alright, so, the Mophie Juice Pack Helium for the iPhone 5. I pre-ordered this, and it actually showed up today. And they kind of go with a little different design here, and you open it up at the bottom which gives you the ability for the lightning port down there to plug into your phone and you slide it in plugs it in and you have a couple different functions on the back here uh, this allows you to check your battery which will shut off and you have the ability to turn on and turn off the device itself when you want to use it so real quick with a 1500 milliamp battery this will charge your phone probably one full time and they do have some nice protection here on the inside, uh, some bumps so it does not uh, scratch the back of the iPhone. All matted on the inside, very nice. And they do give you very little lay on the table, but they do give you some. So you simply slide the piece on the bottom, you hear it snap on, and you have what you are used to. Now I did have this turned on so it immediately started charging uh, while we put that in there. Now, you notice here at the bottom, they do have a little bit of a lip, and what this will allow for your speaker and your microphone to actually amplify what you're using, and I honestly don't hear a difference. I think it sounds fine. Uh, the bottom here, you have your port for your micro USB, which allows you to charge the device. Now, you can charge your phone and your device. Uh, as far as syncing goes, I'll get into that in a minute. Headphone jack all the way down there really yes almost a half inch deep to get to your headphone jack half inch so you may as well forget about putting any of your headphones in here unless it's the apple headphones or you have something that is thin enough to fit in there and uh, it may even be a little bit deeper than a half inch if the phone doesn't go all the way down there because i believe it looks like it stops at the top here at the bottom so you have probably another little bit to go so we're talking more than a half inch of uh, space in between the bottom of the phone and the bottom of the uh, case so I want to be positive about this the design on it looks beautiful you have uh, complete access to your volume buttons and your vibrate switch to put that in and out of that you have good access to your sleep and awake button. The camera is uh, nice and cut out, uh, just as deep because of the battery on the back here, but they do have a great lead into it, so there will be no problems taking pictures with that. All right, so we kind of covered the basics of the device, and now I want to give you my first impressions on me using it for the afternoon. Well, I, I, I have to say, I really wanted to like this. Really wanted to like it. Number one, Five years of making a case like this, and you have a 1,500 milliamp battery. Okay, maybe the, the technology, which I thought was improving, would allow for a much larger milliamp battery, and as opposed to 1,500. I don't know without testing it out and trying it, but I, I, in my opinion, I don't know if that's really going to help. Maybe I'm just being a little used to the fact that I've had much larger uh milliamp batteries but again this is on the phone so maybe I should just move on from that so once I put it on and I started looking around and really checking it out I noticed that at the top here I felt like the phone wasn't sitting in all the way if we take a real close look at this you can see that you can see the sleep awake button and if we look the other way you can see out towards the front of the screen so I thought wow that's kind of weird so I thought, okay, well, you know, I don't know, maybe that's just the way it's sitting, but that seems kind of sloppy. And I don't know if I got a lemon or not, but check this out. Obviously, you can hear that. It's unseating from the device, so it stops charging. So if I have this in my pocket or in a bag and it gets jostled, it can actually sit up or it's the opposite way. It could stop charging, recharging, and uh, right there, stop charging. 
So if I have that in my pocket or in my bag and then unseats, my phone's not charging. So if I'm getting on the nut seat, it just started charging again. Stopped. So I don't know if this is a lemon or not, but this is sloppy for uh, something that's supposed to be five years into production. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to have to contact Mophie and uh, give him the benefit of the doubt. Number two, you cannot sync your phone with iTunes through here. Will not sync. So unless you're wirelessly charging, I'm sorry, wirelessly syncing your device, you're going to have to take the case off and plug it in. Again, after having five years of doing this, one of the things that you have to keep is the ability to sync through the device. You can't take that away. I don't know the technology in it. I just know that other devices have it that are charging cases. Why would you not have it? $80 you're spending on this and you can't let me charge and sync my device at the same time? I don't know. So along with the headphone jack being so deep as another negative, uh, you think to yourself, wow, I'm not going to have any headphones that fit into this. So I'm not going to be able to use it. I'm going to have to take it off. They did do one thing right. They did give you an extension to put that on there. So you simply take your extension, which is included in the package, and you simply slide it up to the port, and then you can plug it in you can listen. But again, you have this added piece on here now that you got to carry around with you. I hope you don't lose it. Or you just, you know, already plug it into the bottom of your headphone jack, your, your headphones, and you can use it in there. Now, again, five years of innovation. And, oh, by the way, if you plug it in, push it too much on mine, it stops syncing and stops charging. So, here, I'll show you. Push it up there. Oh, well, you know what? I Wait, is that not charging now? See, it's actually, if you get close, you can see that it stops charging. See? If you just push it just a little too much. So, back to what I was saying. If you've been at this for five years, I would think that, like we've seen some of these docking stations now, that actually have the headphone jack sticking up to the bottom to plug into the device at the same time, which will allow you to simply just plug into the bottom, and you don't have to worry about using this. So I'm a little confused about where we're coming from with this and what decisions were made. Maybe there is no ability to have such a short uh, run between plugging your headphones in Something like that. I'm not too sure about that. Maybe maybe they did try it, and it just wasn't right. They probably would have had to come down further on this, which would have looked more ridiculous. So maybe this was the only viable option. I don't necessarily uh, like it too much since I switch headphones all the time. Uh, if I have a pair of uh, earbuds, do I really want to have to include this with the earbuds, especially if I have a cool carrying case with them and it fits just the earbuds? Now, um, you know stuck trying to remember this to plug into this so those are just my first thoughts i'm going to contact mophie and make sure that i didn't get a lemon here and uh, give them the benefit of the doubt all in all you've got a pretty cool very slim case which allows you to charge your phone probably i'd say tight 80 percent, 85 percent from zero and uh maybe that is good enough maybe i'm getting a little head because you allow yourself to carry this with it and uh, you're good to go. So definitely feels good in the hand. Doesn't add a whole lot of bulk as you can see there. Yes, it adds bulk, but we're talking bulk in the sense that, you know, you can't operate normally, which you can with this. So we'll contact Mofi and uh, hopefully uh, this is replaced and not everyone's having this issue. So we shall see. But, alas, I will try it out some more, let you guys know as far as the charging goes from zero to full, and uh, we'll give it a good test run. So, guys, that is it for me. You all have a great night, and I will talk to you later. See ya!